Yep, it's the most dangerous time of the year, especially if you are African. <laughs> if you are grandchildren of the formerly enslaved, this is the most dangerous time of the year. What are you talking about, TJ? This is the this is the you know this is the start of the hunting season. And I'm not talking about hunting ducks. I'm not talking about hunting deer. We wouldn't. I would not have to put out an advisory for hunting ducks or deer. But when you start to get into these spring, to deeper into spring, you start to get into really the really revving up of the hunting of African Americans by white cops, in particular these white Southern cops. I've said it, and I came under a lot of smoke for. You know, my stance that the most dangerous time for your black child is when they're no longer in football uniforms and the same cops that be at those that's at those football games, you know, high fiving your son for a touchdown and shit is the same cops that hunt your son. When they, you know, when you start to get into the spring, why? Because there is a hunting season in New Orleans. We have something called Ticket Tuesday. Yeah, I mean, I have Ticket Tuesday where you're at, <laughs> but we have something called Ticket Tuesday. If it's a nice, beautiful, sunny day and it's a Tuesday, your ass going to get a ticket. You're going to get pulled over. Right. And, and if it's if it's that predictable, if they're that predictable, then it has to be something to it. You know, I transitioned um, into another industry and in data. You know, so when I say my business is getting re, re you know, restart it started off again i'm i'm into data analytics right i'm a heavy heavy data guy right and people that are in the data and in, in power bi and business intelligence you know our brains become automatically trained to find trends what is the trend we were trained to spot trends and even if there is not an announced a pronounced trend sometimes we'll hone in and we'll connect columns and we'll find trends. And I began to notice that if we were going to get shot by the cops, it was somewhere around April. <laughs> you know, the majority of these killings, and if you begin to look at the victims of, you know, that we, we were marching for Black Lives Matter, a lot of that shit, a lot of those people were, were, were murdered around April. Martin Luther King was killed in April. You start to get into these warmer months, you know, Medgar Evers, warmer month, you know, start getting to these June and July, Emmett Till's, warmer months, you know, Jesus Christ was murdered in April. <laughs> there's, there's something about these getting into these warmer months in the dog days of summer white cops and african americans guys be aware be on your toes watch your speed do not give these serial killers uh any kind of excuse not that they need one but do not give these white serial killers that came right from the battlefield of afghanistan they came right from the battlefield of iraq you know and some sheriff department gave gave these slimy bastards a car and a gun and sent them into your community. And so they've gone from hunting Muslims to hunting us. Do not give these people a reason to interact with your life. Make sure your car has insurance. Make sure you 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 take care of these warrants, right? If you have a kind of traffic warrant, any kind of bullshit, do not give white folk a reason to fuck with you. So take care of these paperwork issues. Because it's these little clerical things that they use to incriminate. It's these little clerical things, right? Something that is fucking clerical that they turn into criminal and they've mastered the art of it. This isn't some shit that they just started. That's why I call racism genetics because this shit goes back generations. What are you talking about, TJ? If you, this shit with us and white cops guys didn't just start. OK, what do what do you think people who were slave catchers, the ones that were slave catchers, what do you think they did once the Civil War happened and slavery was over? 
you had this whole industry of slave catchers. Well, if slavery is over, that's a whole industry of men and women, peach colored men and women who are out of work unless you can find work for them. If their whole job was rounding up brown people, then you have to find something for the peach colored people to do. Unless that's a huge segment of the population that's unemployed. Then here comes this policing thing. Yes, they had policing in the 1700s, but Louisiana went from the French to the Spanish to the French. And in, even though these, this is one colonizer handing off a region to another colonizer, you can, you, it's a scientific, it's, it's a historical fact that you can go see that in their cooperation, they mentioned that, you know, hey, I just want to give you the heads up. There's a huge population of enslaved and freed people in this region, and you're going to need some type of force to police them. So we went from French to the Spanish, back to the French, to this horrible satanic group called the Europeans. This was the Thomas Jefferson group. This was the barbaric, savage, the Andrew Jackson group. Savage, savages, satanic fucking savages. And we got a, we got a statue of that son of a bitch in front of the St. Louis right, Cathedral Right there in this individual was satanic, satanic peach. And, you know, they've always worshipped and idolized those kind of people. Right. That's not our hero. He's not our folk hero. He's their folk hero. It's not our law enforcement. It's their law enforcement. And it was established to hunt you. They went from being slave catchers during slavery to police officers in May of 1863. You had a surge of these people that was a part of the economy of slavery. Now a part of the policing. So when you begin to get into these fifth, sixth, seven generation law enforcement, you, you actually are observing people that went from slave catchers to white cops. And I have said that, Policing African-Americans is not a job that white, that these Caucasians can do genetically. They're incapable of doing this genetically because genetically they're unca they're, they are incapable of treating anybody with decency or respect. This is, in fact, a fucking gene that's flawed in these individuals. And unfortunately for us, and I just want to give you some backdrop, unfortunately for us, Many of these individuals came right from a war. They came right from the battlefield and it ended up in our community. So I have to put out these advisories to remind African-Americans every year around this time, when you get into these warmer months, they are hunting for you. Okay. Have your paperwork, have all this shit together, right? Keep, keep these motherfuckers out of your life. Don't give them a reason to fuck with you. Okay? If you know you have this bullshit ass warrant out here, go take care of that shit. I'm telling you something that somebody has to tell you straight up. Go take care of your shit. Because these individuals, right? These evil individuals are out there in uniform looking for you. And this is the time of year. They're very good at what they do, guys. They're very good at making this shit look like random stops. There isn't anything random about that white cop in your rearview mirror. You are a you're, you are prey that he successfully snare. He successfully hunted your ass down and he caught you. Now, the challenge here is you have to survive that encounter with that white cop. And that's why I'm putting out this advisory. And that's why I want you to teach your children. Don't use my video to teach them because I cuss. But I cuss to get your attention because if I say this shit without curse words, none of y'all will pay attention to a word I say. But if I say motherfucker, those motherfuckers 
I have your undivided attention. You see how that works? These evil peach color motherfuckers are looking for you. Survive the encounter and go on with your amazing life. Because these bitches are miserable because they wasted all of that peach colored skin. And being that they are so fucking miserable that out of all of the shit they could have done, if you wasn't going to do shit with that skin, you could have gave it to me. Because I would have flipped that shit into a couple of billion dollars by now. But if you weren't going to do shit with it, you could have gave it to me. But no, they wasted it. And in that anger and that resentment, they're going to take that shit out on you. There is no such thing as this bullshit called poli community policing. Just like there is no such thing as black on black crime. That shit don't exist because white folk kill white folk. And stop letting people create these tags and titles and creating a reason to stick more of these satanic motherfuckers in your community. There is no such thing. And some of these killings that are taking place in our communities, these uninvestigated killings are in fact white folk killing us. And it should not be investigated. And it's just a star on a map in a street saying Tyrone black ass was shot here. We don't know who shot him. A lot of this is white cops doing this shit. Okay. It's not a bad apple. The whole barrel is fucked up. And I am someone who comes from police. Okay. I told you the person that raised me was in fact a cop. And his, and his dad was a cop. They couldn't police white folk. They made my uncle and them cops to police us. And I just, unfortunately, they subscribe to it. But this relationship between us and cops, right, is a, is a relationship between good versus evil. And we are the good. And those motherfuckers are the evil. And I need you to survive it. It's your boy, TJ. I love you. Make sure you're teaching your children. Because a lot of our kids now are driving in the summertime. And make sure you advise them that these these evil bastards are out there and they're looking for your child. Teach your children how to survive white cops.